Right, so this isn't really for you guys, this is just for me to remember a period in my life. So if you're not interested in that, don't bother watching it. It's just about me going to uh, uni. So uh, basically to you in the future or me in the future, uh, from me in the past, um, just saying for, from, for this and this day, uh, today, the 10th of the 7th, 2017, no, the 7th of the 10th, 2017, sorry. Uh, we're not, no, it's the 6th, actually, in this. The 6th of the 10th, 2017. The 6th of October, 2017. Very sorry, me. Uh, it feels like at this moment in time, it was a very good decision to uh, go to uni instead of sort of running around. With no idea what I was doing. And just being this frantic guy who was kind of making things up. Um, I'm really feeling the energy of having studied for the last uh, two or three days. I've been studying pretty hard. Uh, yesterday, it was only like six hours. The day before, again, it was only like seven hours. Today, we have studied about 10 or 11 hours, so that's quite good, actually. And we'll probably study after this video for about another 10, 15 minutes. Not sure how I'm feeling with doing some Spanish after doing the uh, computing again. We've already done an hour of... Uh, Spanish today, so we might do another 15 minutes more. We did the word order, and it doesn't exist in Spanish. So, oh, yeah, today we did the word order. Uh, learned a few more things in uh, Spanish past tense. Uh, fiddle about with a robot maker uh, kind of program um, on the uni course. Uh, I think that's about it. Just sort of looked at the uh, sort of history of robotics, and the day before I looked at the kind of like digital information, sort of the history of computers and just the sort of process of uh, accelerated growth that's been happening with them and yeah just feeling really positive at the moment uh, thank you for doing this it was a very good idea you know hopefully you'll see this in three years or i'll see this in three years should i say um and you'll remember this we'll have completed our uh, course and uh, we'll be very happy uh, to have seen the progress we've made um so far uh, this morning i had a small argument with my girlfriend but, you know, she still loves me, I still love her, and uh, these things, we're brushing under a lot easier than before, because uh, we're happier in life. And, um, yeah, it's really showing to sort of our friends and family, uh, not so much to randomers on the internet, because we don't have as much time for them uh, at the moment. That In this period of time, me and you, we didn't have uh, the same time we did for them before, and we're kind of impatient with them. Um, I don't know, just because... We're happy and what we're doing is working and we know that it can work for a while. Uh, a lot of our doubts that we had before, uh, we're kind of just saying probably won't happen. And the other part of us that says it will happen is just saying, who cares? Just fucking try anyway. You're only going to waste three years if you don't do this, so get on with it. And rather than feel a sort of, I don't know, a source of pressure from that, I feel a source of energy like uh, we feel a source of energy uh, in these last three days that we've been, you and I have been studying, I don't know, we've uh, we've really been getting a lot of information in our heads. I've learned, you know, a fair bit more uh, more Spanish uh, in the last few days. You know, I've done about three and a half, four hours in the last few days. I speak quite fluently. We speak quite fluently uh, at the moment. We're quite fluent in Spanish, uh, but we're not perfect. We're not masters. We sort of feel that within an hour, a year. We'll pretty well have mastered, you know, that sort of grammar and context and the, the understanding of vocabulary and the, the rules around Spanish, you know, most of the verbs and most of the stuff. And we think that in about a year is when it's going to start to get very boring to learn Spanish because we'll be, be developing uh, sort of words, um, you know, just, just words like hammer, just generic, annoying words. And we'll have to learn like 10 or 20,000 words. But I think when this uh, next year of learning is done we'll probably do the next year of learning after that will be something like 30 to 100,000 of Spanish words after that we think that we'll basically almost be a Spanish native speaker you know factoring in that we'll have been living in South America for about two years by then we'll have had the experience of living in South America for about two years by then and then a year later you know after having three years of living here seven or eight months of touring here and you know about three and a half years worth of sp Spanish speaking and uh, Spanish learning we think we'll probably have uh, 
almost a f fluent native accent, a uh, native Chilean or native uh, South American uh, Spanish speaking accent. So we're very happy about that because we're realizing that whilst it's a pain. Actually, no, it's not a pain. It was a pain before because we never, we never felt the progress. But I'm feeling the progress of Spanish now. I'm feeling uh, like I'm there. I'm halfway there. Estoy en la mitad de eso. O medio yo no conozco exactamente cuál es el carácter a usar en este momento. And you know, I I can't understand every conversation, but I'm getting there. I understand most of the conversations. And most of most parts of the conversations that I don't understand, I can connect them over time. And things that I didn't understand before, a month later, I'm I'm remembering, remembering and realizing. Oh, it was so simple, and I'm feeling that process happen. I'm feeling that information absorb in, and you know, it's not a negative thing where I'm learning and it's really hard every day. Um, I'm because I'm seeing the results. It's it's a really beautiful growth process that I get to watch and I get to feel as I'm learning. Um, and the same is going with my course. Uh, my girlfriend's working quite hard. She's going to save money. Uh, so maybe she can hopefully come to England in a few years. And she'll do a uni course, hopefully. Uh, we're going to try and get her to do uh, an English course for a year. And I'm going to try and convince her to do maybe a psychology course or something else. A couple of years in there. And just teach her as much English as I can. Because I want to see her improve and be happy. And it's nice because uh, me and her, you and her... Uh, we can all do this at this moment and it looks like we're going to have a very good life for uh, at least, least six to eight years now and so yeah in this moment we're very happy we can feel you know we can feel our brain growing at this moment of time uh, the information is just coming in and it's uh, it's it's almost kind of sexual it's beautiful it's like a food for me you know I'm feeling nourished every time I learn something and you know, my, my, I go to my girlfriend's workplace and pick her up and take her back. And it's nice because I've got that time with her. I speak to my family and my real family through Skype, my friends through Skype and Facebook. I've still got time on the weekends to do that. And I've constructed myself a very nice life. So, yeah, I just thought I'd let you know that. I hope you do watch this in the future. I will mark this down to be watched in the future by us. And, yeah, we'll see us there. Thank you for watching, and uh, I know you enjoyed it, even if you're not feeling so good right now. Ta-da.